Hi there and welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Ninja Foodie beef and vegetable soup. You can actually make this gluten free as well with one simple swap which I'll share with you in this video. This soup recipe is done in the pressure cooker in the Ninja Foodie in just four minutes and it serves really well with homemade cornbread which is our go-to for this recipe. So here is what you're going to need for your ingredients. You'll need one pound of ground beef, or you can also use ground turkey, 14.5 ounce can of beef broth, four cups of water, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, a cup of frozen corn, two medium potatoes halved and sliced. You're gonna want those in just small chunks to put in the soup. You do not have to peel the potatoes, that's totally up to you, along with two stalks of celery, and those will need to be diced. And then you'll also need a medium tomato diced, half a cup of white onion diced, half a cup of white cooking wine. Don't skip this ingredient. This is what really gives the soup the flavor um, you're going for here. And then half a teaspoon of dried parsley and a cup of gluten-free or regular elbow macaroni. You can use other pasta as well if you don't have the elbow macaroni on hand. It'll work just as well. So these are gonna be our ingredients. The first thing you're going to do is cook your ground beef or turkey. I just use the saute function in the Ninja Foodie to do that, and then I go ahead and drain it and return it to the pot. So now I've done that, and I'm just adding my broth and water right to the pot of the Ninja Foodie along with the beef. So I've got all of that in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my tomato sauce. So that's what I'm doing here. Now it doesn't matter what order you add these in, you're going to end up mixing it all together anyway. So you will see that I forgot to add the tomatoes, so I went back and added them. But here I've got frozen corn, potatoes, carrot, celery, and tomato all going in. But the tomato really isn't yet because I forgot about it. But I will get back to that. <laughs> anyway, I've got those all going into the pot here. And then I am going to add in that cooking wine because that is what gives it this flavor. And there's my tomatoes that I forgot. So I've added in the cooking wine and the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna add in the parsley and the pasta at this point. Now you can add extra salt and pepper here if you prefer, or you can add it to taste whenever you get done cooking it. I don't like any extra salt and pepper. That's just my preference. Um, I feel like there's enough in the beef broth, but it's totally up to you on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this all together. So I've got it stirred up, and then we're gonna use the additional lid that comes with the Ninja Foodie, the pressure cooker lid. So you're gonna grab that pressure cooker lid and secure it to your Ninja Foodie, set the nozzle to seal, and then you're gonna cook on high manual pressure for four minutes. Immediately when that, that timer goes off, you're going to quick release by moving the nozzle to vent and let all the steam come out, and then carefully remove the lid and stir it up and it will be ready to serve. So it's very quick. Remember, it does take time to build pressure. It shouldn't take much more than 10 minutes. So once that builds the pressure, it's going to cook and then it will be done and you'll be ready to serve it. So we like to serve this, as I mentioned before, with homemade cornbread. That's our go-to with this recipe. My grandma used to bring this soup over to us anytime it was rainy or cold out with her sweet cornbread. And that was our comfort meal as kids. We couldn't wait for dinner whenever we saw grandma coming with her soup and cornbread. So here it is all ready to serve, paired with cornbread. It's one of our go-to winter meals. And I have found it so much easier to make in the Ninja Foodie and so quick. Um, you can also do this in the Instant Pot exactly the same way too. Very easy to make. You can find this recipe for Ninja Foodie beef and vegetable soup over on MommyHatesCooking.com where you can find many more recipes from the Ninja Foodie too. Be sure to like and sus subscribe to this video so that you do not miss the next one. Thank you so much for joining in today.